morning. Good morning. Is this how we're looking, really? Okay, guys, I'm in dire need of a self-care day. Dire. Dire. I've been working so much, which you'd be surprised how I know, but I have. I've been working so much. My mom was up to visit and it's just the first day of just get yourself together, mind yourself, kind of thing. But look at the pigsty I'm in. Look at the pigsty I'm in. So I need to get my act together. Myself and Gabby have the gallery booked for soon, very soon. I woke up late. I've been go, go, go. I haven't chatted properly. We were in Italy. We were in Italy, guys, together. And we haven't chatted since. I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna go into town. Let's do it. We are out. We are having our little day out. Baby, I know what you go. Cocktail. Gotta break it up a little bit. by the museum today and I just have to start painting so I'm actually getting inspiration from I'll get the name of this person's Instagram but Gabby sent me this person's Instagram which was like how cool are these pictures and stuff it's kind of like photoshop pictures of the moon and I'm getting major inspo from it I can insert the pic and um I'm trying my best okay I'm trying my best right <laughs> no matter where you are or who you are if you're watching the vlogs you're a dear friend to me. So weeks have been going so fast and I think I didn't know if things were happening so I didn't want to say things, but we're friends. I was meant to go back to New York and sleepy Joe Biden won't let us in. I was meant to go to New York with my bestie Lisa, but we're not. Now that I'm staying here a bit longer, I am inspired to make my room a little bit nicer. I got these paints in Sostrin Green. I can never pronounce the name of that place. It's just been nice to actually kind of switch off and do this today. I've had nothing I've needed to do today, but sometimes I can let a day like that just be wasted on my phone or like, not that you need to be always doing something, but just more the idea that I just waste it on stuff that does not make me happy. Small advancement. I think this is gonna take a while because I think I'm gonna have to let some of it dry kind of at a funny place in life right now because as I said I thought I'd be away let's let's just let's just not see my back I do love personally love not knowing what's going on like I like not having a plan but at the same time once a week I'll be like what am I doing what are you doing stuff and like I'm I am doing stuff but it just feels so unstable 
but that is just part of life isn't it every job has a pro and con kind of thing isn't that right but having days like this where i just kind of what's the word unplug like going to the museum today was so nice cleaning up getting my place my space upstairs already it has been such a lovely day I feel like this age is a funny time anyway. It's such like a limbo, trying to figure yourself out, trying to establish, establish yourself. And then COVID thrown in the mix has been quite funny, hasn't it? I feel like this has been a bit of a TED talk that has had no point to it, but the girl picks up a paintbrush and thinks she's a deep thinker and can just blab her mouth about things. I'm keen to actually take my makeup off, get some nice comforting food and sit down and read. I feel like that's next on my agenda. Um, I have a cool skincare utensil to show you, so I think we'll do that now. Sunday is my exfoliating day, so it's all it's all happening today, guys. Absolutely riveting content, to be honest. God, I can't wait to go for makeup. I got a, a book. A book. Sorry. It's called Paris Syndrome. And it's 11 stories of young women traveling the world. So we'll see. It sparked my interest. We'll see how it is. I'm currently reading American Dirt. Loving it so far. Literally only like a fifth of the way through. Sixth. Loving, loving, loving. I finished this one recently, which when I first started it, I was like, this is a bit cheesy. I was like, this is not a bit of me. And it's set in the 50s. But it's just such a lovely story. When I finished it, I was like, I loved that. I loved it. So would recommend if you like a fiction kind of good feel story. Write this one because such a fan of Dolly Anderton. But I wasn't obsessed. If I don't love the main character, I just, I'm not fighting for them. I'm not rooting for them. So I don't really care too much how the story goes for them. So this girl, she was just a bit, she was a bit too cynical. I love how I could just put you on my tripod, but no guys, just putting it up against my leather jacket on the bed. Yeah, she was too cynical for me. She was too depressing. She just wanted to be sad. And I was like, I can't get on board with that girl. And then I got this one yesterday in the charity shop. So like, obviously I got this one new, 12 euro, this one, two euro, two euro on the charity shop. And it's a thriller. So I'm gonna love that. And then another book I read recently, just because I started to get back into my reading, instead of going on my phone at night, we're now reading at night. I'm making an effort to lower the screen time. So if you thought I was bad at replying before, I'm gonna get worse, guys. I'm gonna get worse. So the other book I read was called Exciting Times, and it's by an Irish author. I think her name is Nisha Dolan. That is just that's just from memory, so I could be totally wrong. I thought it was good. It was like a nice quick read. I think I read it in like two days. It was when I had COVID in the house. So I just like flew through it. it. She is also a little bit cynical and depressing. So I wasn't like obsessed with her, which again makes me not obsessed with the story. But I liked it. Okay, now it's time to wind down. It's time to clean, wind down and get this makeup off. Need, to, I, it's so oily. Shiny. Shine bright like a diamond. Shine bright like a diamond. <laughs> I actually have something really cool to show you. So I got sent this, it's the Radiant Skin Care System. And it comes with like four heads and it's this electronic thing that helps with the whole cleaning of your face. Okay, I'll show you the four parts, they're actually so cool. So I have this one, which is the biggest one, and it's the body one. So this is what you do if you're like in the shower and you're like, can you ready? You know what I mean? I've used this one already. It's so nice on the skin. And then I've also used the cleansing brush. So I'm going to use that now. And it's really soft bristles because I'm kind of scared. It's like tear away at my face, you know? It's just so soft. Looks similar, but we have the exfoliating brush, which is, which is a little bit denser, but still not too dense. And last but not least, one of these. Do you know these kind of stone things? It's good for like the hard parts of your feet. So I think I'm going to need to use this today because my feet are killing me after being in town. But I'm just going to use this cleansing brush and show you how to use it. I actually have a code. <laughs> I have a code for 70% off. It's Stephanie Blah. Stephanie Blah with one A. I'll write it in. Look at this, ready? So just put a little product on it. Big fan. 
would recommend, especially with 70% off, it's not expensive. So would definitely recommend. Could be a nice gift as well, a gift set for someone. you can just do a quick little scrub. I'd rather scrub a brush than my face, you know? Now, I haven't used the exfoliating part yet, but I'm gonna do it now because I exfoliate twice a week, Sunday and Wednesday, and it is Sunday. So I'm just gonna pop this off and I'm gonna pop on the exfoliating one. By the time I'm editing this video, I'll be able to tell you properly how I feel about the exfoliating brush part of it, but my skin feels so soft right now. Mm. 